Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. Recently I've made a bunch of videos showing you how to make and cover different kinds of books, and I've mentioned something called book cloth in a few of those projects. You can buy commercially made book cloth from specialty stores, but if you have some fabric with a cool pattern on it, you can use that to make your own book cloth. Today I'm going to show you how I made this book cloth from an old bed sheet. You'll need a starchy glue for this project, and rice paste and wheat paste both work pretty well. You can make your own glue from scratch if you want to, but I'm using this Japanese rice paste that I have, and I thinned it down a little bit with some water before I began, because it was just a little bit too thick. The other bits and pieces that you'll need to make your book cloth are some pre-washed and dried fabric, some strong thin acid-free paper, a glue brush, a roller and a couple of pieces of Perspex plastic or glass. You'll also need to iron your fabric to get rid of any wrinkles. I cut my fabric down so that it was slightly smaller than the piece of Perspex that I'm using. Then I cut a piece of my paper slightly bigger than the fabric. The paper that I'm using is a Japanese Hosho paper and any type of thin washi paper will work well for this. And you can also use acid free tissue. Tissue isn't as strong as washi or Hosho paper, so you'll just need to be a bit more careful when you handle it. While I iron my fabric, I'd like to let you know that I have a Patreon and you can go and support it. I've got a bunch of different reward levels and every little bit adds up, so click the link in the description if you enjoy my videos and would like to help make them even better. The next step is to glue up your paper. My paper has a rough side and a smooth side and I like to add the glue on the rough side with a soft wide brush. I start in the centre and work my way out to the edges, making sure that the whole sheet of paper is covered in glue. I do this on one of my pieces of Perspex, but if you don't have glass or Perspex, you can do this on top of some non-stick waxed kitchen paper. I use my second piece of Perspex to lay out the fabric. And again, if you don't have flat glass or Perspex, you can use a window for the next step. To do this, you'll need to wet your fabric with a spray bottle and drape the damp fabric up against the window. And the surface friction from the water will hold the fabric in place until you can cover it with your glued paper. You can also wet your fabric with a spray bottle of water if you're making it flat on a piece of plastic like I am but it's not entirely necessary. Lay the fabric out flat on your glass or perspex with the reverse side of the fabric face up and drape your paper with the glue side down over the fabric so that the paper covers the fabric completely with a small paper border around all the edges. Flatten the paper as best you can with your hands and then use a small roller or a second clean and dry brush to gently smooth out any air bubbles. You don't need to push too hard here. When you're done, leave everything to dry overnight and then the next day you can peel away the finished book cloth from the glass or the perspex.
starch glue won't permanently stick to the plastic so you should be able to pull up a corner and then the rest of the edges will easily pull away. And that's how you make book cloth. You can make bigger pieces if you have enough space and you can trip away the paper edges if you want to or just leave them until you're ready to make your book cover. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've listed all the materials I've used in the description and you'll also find links there for my website, my Patreon, my Facebook, Instagram and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.